Humanity's thirst for discovery drives us to explore and learn about our surroundings. We have explored the Earth, its oceans, and even reached out into space to explore the moon, planets, and stars. Thanks to technology, future explorations may extend far beyond what we can currently imagine. The idea of a human interstellar empire is not something new. It has been present in science fiction for decades. The concept of an advanced human civilization that spreads across the galaxy has been a popular subject among writers and movie producers. A space-faring human civilization is certainly possible given enough time and resources. There are many challenges we will need to overcome if we want to explore and settle other planets in the future. Here are 10 challenges an interstellar human empire might face. Interstellar travel is incredibly difficult. Astronomical distances, small windows of opportunity, and harsh environments are just some of the challenges that we will need to overcome. It takes light 100 years to reach the nearest star outside our solar system, and many stars are millions of years away. When we want to send a spacecraft to another star system, it will take many years. If we want to send a spacecraft towards Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to our solar system, the journey will take almost seven years. And that's if the spacecraft travels at a breakneck speed of 60 million miles per hour. The only other option is to use an extremely powerful propulsion technology, such as a nuclear propulsion or laser propulsion, to accelerate the spacecraft to extremely high speeds. This will reduce the journey time, but it also increases the cost and difficulty of the mission. The first step when exploring other stars and planets is finding potentially habitable worlds. We know that Earth is capable of supporting life, but that doesn't mean other planets in the galaxy are too. Finding a planet that has the right conditions to support life is difficult. We don't even know if other planets in our solar system are habitable, so we need to look further afield. There are many methods scientists use to determine whether a planet is suitable for life. For example, we can look for chemical signatures that indicate the presence of water on a planet's surface. But in many cases, we can only say that a planet is potentially habitable, we can't confirm if it is actually suitable. The Great Silence is the unexplained silence of our galaxy. Since we know that some planets are capable of supporting life, we would expect to see signs of life somewhere in the galaxy. However, we have yet to see any signs of life outside our solar system. The Great Silence could simply mean that life is very rare in the galaxy. Or, it could mean that any species that does arise is unable to communicate or travel across the galaxy. This could be due to a number of reasons. Perhaps intelligent species will inevitably destroy themselves, or maybe they are simply hidden from our view. Before we can explore the galaxy, we will first need to establish a new human colony. The entire journey will probably take thousands of years, and the first humans to land on a new planet will be long dead by the time the rest of the human race arrives. We can send robotic probes to other planets before the first humans arrive, but they lack the ability to make important decisions and take action. They also cannot select the best places to live. Humanity might need to employ a system like that used during the European colonization of the Americas. Colonizers would travel to a new planet and select the best places to live for the next wave of settlers. For example, colonists might arrive on a planet and select the best places to build human settlements. They might choose an area that has a moderate climate, plenty of water, and plenty of food. Humans will need to overcome or reduce the effects of resource depletion, including the depletion of energy, mineral resources, and water. We rely on materials such as fossil fuels and minerals to power our civilization. 
but these resources are limited and are being depleted. If we want to expand our civilization beyond Earth's surface, we need to find ways to reduce our dependence on these limited resources. There are many options to reduce our dependence on scarce resources. For example, we can use renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and tidal power. We can also look to the stars to find new mineral resources that can be exploited by mining asteroids. We don't know what harmful organisms or environmental toxins we might find on other planets. We can only assume that other planets and moons have pathogens like viruses and bacteria that can harm humans. Chemicals and harmful substances can also be present on other planets and moons. These might be naturally occurring, or they might be the remnants of previous extraterrestrial civilizations. Scientists know that viruses and bacteria can survive in extreme environments. This suggests that harmful organisms might be able to survive in harsh environments on other planets and moons. If we are journeying to distant stars, then the flow of time will slow down on our planet as we travel towards the speed of light. Time dilation is caused by the fact that the speed of light is a fixed speed in the universe. This means that light is always traveling at the same speed, regardless of the speed of the object emitting the light. Because light is traveling at a fixed speed, our speed relative to the light determines how long the journey will take. This means that the closer we get to the speed of light, the slower time will pass for us compared to those who are not traveling at such a high speed. This is why interstellar journeys seem to take so long. Those who are traveling at a slow speed are aging as normal, while those in the front of the spaceship are aging slower than those at the back. Humanity will have to decide what its goals are before it tries to expand into the stars. Will we try to find new life? Will we try to find new minerals and sources of energy? Or will we simply try to reach new frontiers? These are just a few of the many goals we might have. Finding meaning for an interstellar human civilization is very difficult because we can't be sure what we will find. Only time will tell what humanity will achieve in the distant future. Interstellar space is full of hazards, such as cosmic dust, radiation, and small pieces of rock that are too small to be called asteroids. These hazards pose a real threat to the health of the crew in their spaceship. To reduce these risks, we need to employ effective shielding, like magnetic fields or aluminum dust, to protect the spaceship from harmful particles. We will also need a propulsion system that can protect the ship from interstellar hazards. Two options are considered the most effective a nuclear propulsion or laser propulsion system. Before we can establish a human colony in another part of the galaxy, we first need to find a suitable planet to live on. We'll also need to study the planet to make sure that it doesn't harbor any harmful organisms that may threaten the health of humans. Finding the right planet is something of a Goldilocks problem. Finding a suitable planet is incredibly difficult, especially if we are looking for an Earth-like planet. Earth-like planets are rare, and we don't know how to detect them yet. There will also be an issue of genetic mutations that could take place on Earth-like planets. Those mutations might help humans to adapt to those environments, which might alter the bodies of humans as well. Those humans may even evolve to not look like Earthly humans at all. These are just some of the challenges that humanity might face in the interstellar civilization in future. Of course there can be many more. That's all time we have for today's video. Like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to press the bell icon so you won't miss any updates.